I speak to a lot of traders and I get asked a lot of questions. And one of the ones I get asked the most is which timeframes should I trade? My answer to this question is whichever you like. Now I say this because with the right strategy, the same methods of analysis are going to work just as well regardless of which time frame it is you're using. For some strategies like indicator strategies or strategies that use support and resistance and trend lines, uh, you can be confined to one set of time frames, like perhaps the one day, the four hour and the one hour. That's because a lot of the signals the market gives you can be entirely false. Uh, the reason being when you're using indicators or you're using trend lines and very basic support and resistance, you're essentially relying on and working with non-existent lines that exist only in your head. Now, the approach that I use and the one that I'm guiding you with here on YouTube is an approach that uses price and it utilizes order flow and market structure, uh, meaning it only moves with what the real market price is showing me. Now, what this means is you can use these exact methods on the high time frames, the medium time frames, and the low time frames with the same level of accuracy. So in this video, we're gonna get into some examples and I'm going to show you exactly what it is that I mean when I say this, that you can use the same methods across all time frames with essentially the same level of accuracy and the same results. So first off, we're going to use an example on the daily chart here. This is GBPUSD, uh, and I'm going to show you how the methods I use with the structure of the market and the order flow of the market, uh, including imbalances and supply and demand, how you can actually find a profitable trade on this. And then I'm going to show you on the lower time frames, like the 15 minute time frame and the one minute time frame. Uh, the exact same setups working out in just the same manner. So GBPUSD, nice and simple to begin with. We can see we are in an uptrend in this market. We have this big bullish push coming up, forming these lows. Uh, we form the obviously higher high here. We come down, form the low, and then we come back up and form a higher high once again. This higher high actually broke the structure. So this shows us we are uptrending uh, intact. So as an example, we have a leg down like that we have a larger leg up the impulsive move what we would then be anticipating is a leg down and then once again another leg to the upside okay so we're in an uptrend the structure is showing us that now using the order flow to identify uh, the supply and demand zones obviously the areas where markets are likely to buy sell from here we go demand zone down here in the low as we can see consolidation before a large upside move we also there have imbalance is this of course extended price movement which has not yet been retested not yet been filled in so there we go demand zone in the uptrend with the higher high structure intact and obviously a bullish break of structure uh, also then using the order flow aspects the demand zone and the imbalance to find our entry point so a nice simple trade idea buying from the midpoint of this demand zone stop under the demand zone uh, whatever for the target, nice extended target to the upside, for example's sake. If we then let the market play out, you will see we trade into the midpoint of the demand zone and we begin moving to the upside and we do so for quite some time. So this is obviously a daily chart trade. Uh, personally, not something I would take because I you know, prefer to trade the lower time frames. I mean, I'm not someone that holds trades for months. But as you can see, using those exact same methods that I would use on all time frames, the trade worked out to be a treat, okay? Nice and simple, structure, order flow, sorted, that's it. So now what's interesting, and what I'm going to show you is the exact same um, analysis method working on a much lower time frame. In this instance, the 15 minute time frame. Now we are down on the 15 minute time frame, uh, And as you can see, a very similar setup to what I just showed you on the daily. We have the uptrending move, we have the high come in, we then have the higher low come in, and then we have a higher high. So very much like the previous one, the move we're looking for is the corrective move down, the impulsive move up, and then we're looking for a corrective move down once again. And then we will be looking for another impulsive move to the upside to continue the uptrend. So pretty much exactly what I just showed you as on the daily chart, but over here on the 15 minute chart, which is obviously significantly lower time frame. So once again, after we know the overall direction of the market, we want to then find the levels, uh, the order flow, the supply demand areas, the imbalances in the market. As we can see, we have an imbalance here and beneath that we have a untested demand zone. So if we were to plot this demand zone on the chart, go with the same entry opportunity as previous with the entry on the midpoint, the stop beneath the zone and the targets considerably higher, just for example's sake, we could then see by allowing price to play out, 
that we get a very, very similar setup to the previous one, where we come in, we tap into the midpoint of that demand zone, and then we move up and fulfill the targets. So as you can see, that's two identical trading setups, one on the daily chart, which is a significantly uh, high time frame chart, and one on the 15 minute chart, which is essentially an intraday or intraweek trading chart. As you'll see, the same exact methods with the structure and the order flow have worked out a treat in both occasions and worked out very similarly. Now, this is what I mean when I say you can use these same exact methods on multiple different timeframes and get the same results. Because what we're doing here is not following the invisible lines on the chart, not following data given to us from indicators. We're actually looking at the price, the highs and the lows, the swings in price, looking at the areas where price gets large bursts of momentum, uh, looking at the overall direction of the real price in real time and reacting to that. And that is what's given us our trades. So we can actually use any time frame and still get the same results. Now, I'm just going to show you one final example here. I'm going to find an opportunity on the one minute time frame using very similar methodology because I know that there's going to be lots about and show you that example broken down. So here on the one minute time frame, we will see once again a very similar outcome in the market. Bullish move up, forming the higher high. We come down, we form that low. We then get another bullish move up, which breaks the structure. And as we can see, I've plotted on again, the correction impulse, correction impulse that we want to see in the market. So just remove these for neatness. As we'll see, break of structure. Once again, price imbalance. And down here, the area of demand, the area that the price consolidated in before making a bullish move to the upside, as we can see. So this is the region we want to buy from entry around the midpoint, stop under the lows, target into the highs. Uh, and if we allow price to play out, you will see the imbalance is filled, the entry is triggered, and then price begins moving in our desired direction, eventually coming through fulfilling the target and moving it off considerably higher. So as you'll see, this is very, very similar to the movement I showed you on the daily chart, also the movement I showed you on the 15 minute chart. And the reason being is because we are following price and we are following the flow of orders. When I say we're following price, we're following the structure. When we see higher highs being made, we know we're in an uptrend. We know we want to trade upwards. Order flow, when we see these imbalances and the demand zones and supply zones, we know that it's likely the market is going to come through to fill these imbalances, trade back into these high interest areas um, of buying and selling, reaccumulate orders, and then move higher up in the trend in line with that structure that we just spoke about. It's as simple as that structure is structure, order flow is order flow. It's going to work on every single time frame. If you're using the right methodology, regardless of you know these indicators, basic support and resistance, things that just are essentially drawing invisible lines on your chart and using data that uh, you know algorithms are giving you, forget all of that. We want to actually focus on what price is telling us and what the real market price at this time is telling us to do uh, and react to that accordingly. So. Just remember, if you're using the right methodology and you're using a real price action approach, it doesn't matter what time frames you use as long as your methodology is correct. You can use the highest time frames if you really want to be a, you know, a weekly chart, a daily chart, swing trader to swing out thousands of pips. You can be an intraweek trader, taking a trade on Monday and closing it by Friday by using the hourly charts or the 15 minute charts. Or you can be a true intraday trader using one minute entries, one minute exits and still get the same results. Now, the best thing to notice is um, it's all down to your complete style of trading because you can achieve the same risk reward doing the same uh, trades across different timeframes, okay? So you could, for example, open a trade on the daily chart with 100 pips stop loss, targeting 1,000 pips, and you could get 10R or 10% out of that if you risked 1%. Now, likewise, you could be on the medium timeframes. You could take a 10 pip stop with a 100 pip target and you could get 10R, 10%, okay, at your 1% risk. So exactly the same profit, only you only had to make 100 pips instead of 1,000, and you only had to wait a week instead of a month or two months. The same uh, concept, you could then go to the one minute time frame. you could take a trade with a two pip stop, targeting 20 pips, kind of like this one here, 2.5 pip stop, if we'd have extended it to a 20 pip target, right, for example sake, 2.5 pip stop, 25 pip target, and bam, that's your 10% done in not a month, not a week, but 45 minutes, okay? So it really comes down to the style of trading that you enjoy. If you are the kind of person that likes to sit down at the charts every day and pull a profit from the market, you can target these day trades. If you prefer a more relaxed approach, um, but you still like being active in the markets, 
you can target the medium time frames. And if you are a true swing trader and you want to literally set a trade and then don't think about it uh, for a few months until it's really achieved your huge target. So you want to kick back, relax, perhaps travel uh, and not really put too much time into the charts. You can be a true swing trader using the exact same methodology on the high time frames. So the big message to take from this video is that you decide your trading style. Structure is structure. Order flow is order flow. If you're trading using market structure, using the flow of orders and focusing on what price is telling you in real time, then it doesn't matter what time frames you trade. As long as your methodology is right, you can make money trading exactly in the style that you want to. So for the swing traders who are wondering, can I bring my style down to the low time frames? Well, if your style is correct, yes, you can use that on the one minute time frames. Um, if you are a intraday trader or a scalper and you're thinking, can I actually transition into a swing trader? Well, yes, if you're using the right methodology, focusing on what price is telling you in real time, you can go ahead and trade the monthly charts if you really want to. It doesn't matter on the time frame as long as your methodology is solid. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you found some value. Uh, and thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time to enjoy this video and learn something new for your trading career. If you want to learn more about my smart money trading approach, head over to the link in the description to visit my website. From there, you'll be able to join my trading community or enroll in my online course. When you do so, you'll gain access to my 10 plus hour trading course, which teaches every single aspect of trading that you need to succeed. Foundations for the beginners, you have psychology, risk management, economics and a huge technical chapter which was recently revamped. There's even a strategy on putting together your own trading plan using everything you learn so you can trade with great confidence uh, in your very own personalized plan. As well as that you'll gain access to the members area where there are 50 plus additional educational videos, tutorials on how to follow my trades sent out in the trading server, investment ideas and weekly video breakdowns. So if that sounds interesting to you head over to the link in the description and join the community.